guys, welcome back to our channel. This week, I thought it was extremely important for me to break down the different kinds of eyeshadows or products for the eye, the colored products for the eye that are available. And I'm going to break down into different finish and even properly tell you how you can figure out whether the shadow that you're seeing is actually good or not. So do keep watching the video to know everything there is to know about eyeshadows. So to begin with, I'll show you the different kinds of eyeshadows that are available. You have matte shadows, you have satin finish, you have the ones which have glitter in them, you have shadows which are called foil shadows, you have dual purpose shadows, you have pigments and you have glitters. So this is all the product that is out there to do your eye makeup. So I'll show you now how each of them differ from each other. So beginning with a matte shadow. Take a close look at how this product is. Do you see how the color looks very flat? It doesn't have an intensity, right? These colors are very easy to blend. A good quality matte shadow is very easy to blend, but be careful if the quality is not good, it will patch very easily. So I'm just going to swatch that for you. It has a very, very light figure. It's almost like it doesn't have a sheen, nothing. It's just black as a color. I've been told that this color is not showing on camera. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up another matte shadow uh, and show you how, how flat. Take a look over here. See how this color is. It doesn't have any shadow, none of that. So I personally love this color to blend out my makeup, my eye makeup. The next one is called a satin finish and MAC does fabulous satin finishes. Take a close look at how this color looks. Yeah. So the shadows have slight sheen into itself, which I really like. <laughs> and see how this color looks. Take a close look. This is what the color looks like. It has that slight intensity and believe me, these are my favorite. It doesn't let your makeup look too loud. It gives you a very, very pretty feel. Absolutely love this one. The next one that I'm going to talk about is eyeshadows which have glitter. So have a look at this. It's one of my favorite. Do you see the glitter particles in this shadow? You know, they kind of shine and they do have like high intensity. I really like this one. But it has small glitter particles. I'm not sure if the camera will be able to catch this or not. But this is how the color looks like. Usually, it could be a satin base or a matte base which has glitter in it. For, for the purpose of understanding this better, I'm going to get another eyeshadow which has glitter in it. And show you what that looks like. This is from the Anastasia palette. You know, uh, most of these eyeshadows are known to have a lot of fall fallout as well. So that's something to even watch out for. So see, all these three colors have glitter particles in them. They kind of shine when placed in the eye. My favorite in, in these is if you have a black eyeshadow, which has a lot of glitter in it, it looks beautiful. I've seen a look over there. Uh, the next one I'm going to talk about is the foil shadow. Now, foil eyeshadows are extremely pigmented, extremely pigmented. And my favorite are the ones by Makeup Geek. Like, they are awesome. I want to eat them if I can. So pretty. So I'm just going to swatch some of those. I'm going to use the other hand because this one is very dirty now. Um, let me show you some of the colors which I think are very, very pretty. So pretty. So, so pretty. Check out the intensity of these colors. Super, super, super intense. So good. And I'm going to just look at that. Now that will look like a nice little oil sweep or some work for this. So good. So the next one that we're going to talk about is are these dual shadows. Basically, what dual shadows mean is that they can be used dry and if you wet your brush and apply them it has an even more intensified color my favorite is this palette by nas from narcissist i'm not going to turn it around because it has a mirror front and that just looks very warped on camera but to take a look at the colors this is what the colors look like right so it's got a whole lot of pigments um i really like them because it it has multi-purpose and i love the collection of colors over here um very nice and soft so it's like a satiny finish 
if I just use it by itself. And the second I dip my brush into maybe a prep and prime or something like a water, it just gives me a more intensified look. I love these. They're very, very pretty. Especially the gold color here is so beautiful over the lid. And the other two products, which I think leaves a lot of people slightly confused, are what they call pigments. And MAC does beautiful pigments, Makeup Geek does beautiful pigments, and so does Ingram. Love their pigments. I want to show you, this is an old pigment bottle that I had from MAC. It's called Old Gold. My same there. And what I really like, so what are pigments essentially? They're basically, the color is in a loose powder form, right? It's given in a box like this and they're extremely intense. I'm going to pick up very little of this product and show you how that works. I've taken some, loaded some on my brush and I'm going to sweep it. Do you see this color? It's really, really, really pigmented. Be very careful when you're working with pigments for a simple reason that there could be a lot of fallout. Remember to dust your brush and then apply because otherwise you're just going to have it all sprayed over your face. And the last one is a glitter itself. So there's an eyeshadow with glitter and there's glitter glitter. I have this one by MAC. It's called Silver. <laughs> no bringer there. Ah, just you put it all over me. So this is what the bottle looks like. It's really... Ah, I'm going to disturb it all the glitter on me. Anyways. Coming back to the point, so this is what glitter looks like. I'm just going to pick up a little bit. You won't be able to see much because you need, and in order to apply one of these, you need glitter. You can't, you can see it doesn't even stay on my hand for a second, right? So if you don't kind of plug it into your skin with glue, it's not going to stay. So this is what the glitter looks like. Beautiful. Hmm, Anyways, so yeah, that's all the different kinds of eyeshadows or products which are there to give you that kind of color onto your eye which are available. Now you can make an informed decision the next time, but while you're picking up your shadows, remember that when you apply the shadow on, when you're testing it onto your hand, it should not be chalky. It should not have a lot of color just kind of coming off. And when you apply it, a sweep, there should be a continuous sweep of color. It shouldn't just kind of fade away in between and then come back. The second that happens, it means that it's not a great product. So I really hope all you guys out there can make a better, better decision next time. And I hope this video has helped you understand everything there is to know about eyeshadows. And do share your feedback with us. Do like, share, subscribe, and keep sharing your love. Thank you.